everyone, Seamycraft here, and today we'll be I'll be showing you how to build a combination lock in Minecraft. So now this not this kind because this is kind of simple. One where you have to push buttons in a certain order. Okay, so here's our combination lock, so... It makes a... Yeah, that's the sound it makes if you get it wrong. Some must have already been partway through the combination, but... I'll just show you how it works, so... Let's get the second one wrong intentionally. Yeah. So now for the actual combination. Yeah, so, now to show you how it works. Here is a more simple version. This is minecart based. So basically, what we have here is a minecart, buttons with pistons attached, right over here. You press the button, a piston pushes. Because there's a block here, the minecart decides, hey, I would go this way. It goes over here. And then there's all of this other real stuff, so you will have to figure out your own rail and hold on music get off okay so this goes across so this automatically goes here to the next place if you get it wrong I'll show you what happens so So that's what happens here. There's a piston here that gets powered, which pushes the block so the minecart decides to go this way. If you get it right, the minecart goes across, up, hits a notes block to tell you that your awesome and did it correctly. And actually, I didn't do this on the big one yet because I just recently found out this problem, but if it's out in the open, you need to cover up the note box one block above them so snow doesn't get onto them if you're in a taiga biome or snow plains. So basically then the cart just goes back to where it was. So here's the larger version. Slightly more complicated. One important thing to note is if you have more than two buttons, then you cannot have then you can't have it go across like this because that's just feasibly impossible. It has to either go up, which I don't really know how it, how to do that, or down. It can't just go across. So See, yeah, I've already started to have that problem with the notebook, so... <laughs> I'll just cover up this entire stretch. Where did I put the note lock here? I believe it's down there somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So, here's the larger version. 
I won't really explain all of this minecart this because depending on how many buttons you have and stuff, this can all change. I'll, I'll just tell you about the concept for the rest. So, we still have just the button pushing. Piston. Pistons and stuff. But that we have here that we don't have with the other. Oh, it's, it's one important thing in this. That I, in this design, I don't have a way of notifying you if you're first. Like, say I got the first button wrong. There's no tune that's placed to let you know that you got it wrong. So, I'm sure there are plenty of, of ways you can do that, though. So our cart goes out. And into this place. So basically, it's the same, except all of the whatever the button is pushed all of the buttons so because these red stones are right on top of the buttons being pushed we have this red stone going down here to this piston which retracts the floor from beneath the minecart if it's here and then the signal keeps going all the way over to this piston which retracts the floor of the mine card is here. And then we've got a track that makes the mine card go up back over here. And if you get it right, then the pistons just push it, push it, goes up across the tune across the detector rail right above the door now this one it hits this this powered rail on the wall and just goes back and the track is set up in such a way that it just goes all the way to the start now my reasoning for the tunes is you don't want people not knowing if they've gotten it right or wrong, so... Because that's kind of cheap. And then the victory tune is mainly just to give people reaction time to be like, Oh, the door is opening. Let's go in. If they don't already know that they got it right, so... And that's basically it. It's not very complex in theory, but in input... But in imp... Imp implementation it can get quite complex so I hope this has helped you and until next time I invent something awesome I have been CB craft with, with an awesome redstone tutorial bye